In this Animal Crossing New Horizons speed build video, I'm going to show you how I created the dock area and bait shop on my rustic Cabin in the Woods themed island, Willow. This build consists of a building structure illusion, an exterior shopping and fish prep area, plus a docking area. I'll include a link to all the codes used in the description of this video in case you want to use the same codes. If you're new to my channel, I'm Panch, and this is my channel, Panch Plays. I post both videos and live streams about Animal Crossing and other video games. Please consider subscribing if you'd like to see more of my content. Thanks for watching, and let's get into the decor session. First, I created a base for my building structure out of this wooden decking code. I used the Azumaya gazebo surrounded by storefronts to make the shop structure. I recently toured CH Teacher's Island Brown Bear, link to that video in the description below, and she used the storage sheds as a door for many of her structures, so shout out to her for the inspo for this build. The gazebo makes a perfect roof. Customize the stall using a different wood decking path that I've used on my island already, and I think it complements the storefronts so well. I place out a few fish. Honestly, I don't really do much fishing in Animal Crossing, so I had to make do with my very limited options. People in my chat suggested putting out fish bait, and I was embarrassed to discover that I hadn't yet dug up a single manila clam, but I didn't even have to DIY. I wasn't lying when I said I didn't do much fishing. The barrels complement the wood tones perfectly. Beaches can be so awkward since the edge of the ground naturally is not a straight edge. The horizontal edge of the dock is aligned as close as I could to the beach's northern edges, and I left two squares between the vertical docks to give me space to place the yachts. I'm so happy that we have boat items now instead of having to make boat illusion. It would be amazing if Nintendo let us use custom designs straight to the water's edge. Imagine the waves crashing against the edge of those designs. Mm. Unfortunately, that is not a thing, but I used the rock edges of the stone bath pond custom design as a way to not have a hard edge of rectangular water. If you don't focus too closely, it gives off the vibes of waves. So that's what I'm telling.
love you, but now is not the time. Okay, since we're here, let's take a photo. And she declines to be photographed. Why are villagers like this? Purple ended up sending me a project table, which was just what I needed to complete the bait shop build. Thank you, Purple. Customized it dark to match, rearranged some of the bait decor, and voila! A service counter that also doubles as a place to prep fish. This is the end result. Beaches are the most difficult areas for me to decorate, but I love how this build turned out. Let me know in the comments what you think, and thanks again to CH Teacher for the inspo, and to my Twitch chatters for providing suggestions. It was truly a collaborative effort. Thanks for watching, and if you liked it, hit that thumbs up button. I'd really appreciate it. I will see you in the next video. Thanks so much for watching. This is Panch signing off. See you next time.